It truly does not feel like any other matte lipstick formula I've ever used. Welcome back to another episode of Live From LA, it's Nikki. I'm Nikki DeRoos, artist in residence with Bobbi Brown. And this month, if you couldn't guess, I'm going to show you three easy lip looks using the new Luxe Matte Lipstick. I'm going to do a bold lip, I'm going to do a diffused lip, and an ombre lip. So I'm gonna swatch a few shades. First up, we have Ruby, wow. Then we have Big City, then we have Boss Pink, Neutral Rose, Power Play, love that name. We have After Hours, I love that name too. So my trick with a bold lip is actually starting with a neutral lip liner. This is Coco, and I'm going to draw out my lips first. I feel like this gives a little direction and an outline, so it's not as scary to put a bright lip over the top. Also, if you like to overdraw slightly, this would be your moment to do it. All right, now let's get on to the bright lip, the powerful power play. I went for it. I wanted it to be the brightest and the punchiest. So pretty simple, start in the center. You could see how easy that swiped on. So it's really a one swipe lipstick. And then I like to take my finger and just start kind of bringing that to where my lip liner was. I have to tell you guys that this feels so nice on the lips. It honestly feels like I'm wearing a lip balm. You can kind of edge it out a little bit. Power play. I love it. So let's move on to our second lip look, which is the blurred lip look. And I'm going to do it with Big City. So with a blurred lip, I'm going to start in the center, start pressing that in. Blend it, take your finger again, and just start blurring out the edges. So I'm going a little higher here at the Cupid's bow and down below, and then we'll add a little bit more punch right in the center. It feels like it's just been blushed onto the lips and it stays so well, but it doesn't feel like I have anything on. My lips definitely still feel really nourished and hydrated. And lastly, our ombre lip. So I'm going to start with After Hours and I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit so that I can use the edge. Need my mirror for this. And I'm going to kind of line my lips with this shade. Then we're going to take a Q-tip and start to diffuse those edges. So ombre means that you want the lighter part in the center of your lip and then it's going to diffuse out to the darker. And then I'm going to take the boss pink for the center and start blending them together. Look how pretty that looks. It truly does not feel like any other matte lipstick formula I've ever used. It's so soft and nourishing and cushiony and balmy, all of it. It's just, it's a beautiful formula. And that is our ombre lip. For any of the lip looks, here's one other trick. You can take your Skin Full Cover Concealer and you can clean up any edges if you need to. Easy as that. So there you have it. Those are three easy yet impactful lip looks using the new Lux Matte Lipstick. I'm torn. I don't know which one is my favorite. I'm curious to know which one you love the most or the shade that you love the most or the technique that you gravitated to the most. And I really love to wear a bold lip look with a simple outfit. So just a white t-shirt, pair of jeans, pair of heels. So make sure to comment below. And of course, if you have any questions, please ask. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video in this series.